Hey. You still sleeping? I don't know. Happy birthday. <sighs> Give me a second. <clears throat> I'll be more charming when I'm awake. I was up late. Really late. Why? You got off the phone. You said you're almost done with work. <sighs> yeah, I got sidetracked. I wrote an email to Maggie. Oh. No, I didn't send it. Why not? What if her life spiraled out of control after my mom sent her off? Wait, two days ago you were assuring me that Maggie was ancient history, you'd moved on. Why are you suddenly assuming the worst? What happened? Hearing what my mother did to you at the museum really threw me. Hey, you're not spending your birthday like this. So just call her and see how she is. I can't. It's not fair for me to crash into her life. I just... I don't know if she's okay. Hello. Hi. The birthday boy. Man. Whatever. Wes dropped off a gift for you, so I invited him to stay for dinner. Yeah, yeah, I hope that's cool. No. Glad you're here. More the merrier. So now you want to celebrate? I sort of do. I called Maggie. And she's doing great. What does that mean? She got a master's in education. She's a good job. Owns her own home. Lives by herself. And she's really happy. She told you that? We didn't talk more than five minutes, but honestly, that was enough. I'm incredibly relieved. Go take a shower, and then we can celebrate. Make a wish? I don't need to. Everything I want, I've already got. I'll cut the cake. Dude, you are getting old. What are we listening to? Hootie and the Blowfish? <laughs> I think I know why she lied to him. What if my mom's paying her to keep quiet? You think that your mom knows? She might. How do you guys feel about Super Tramp? Who? That's what I thought. You need to talk to your mom then. And say what? I don't know, but if you're right and we say something now, then Maggie might get punished and that little boy gets cut off. 